Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 for the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing apart of the soul and spur and of the joints and marrows and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intentions and the intents of the heart so here we find clearly that the soul and the spirit is two different things the living word of God is the word that separates how does the word of God separates the the soul and the spirit because word separates the soul from the spirits that are not of God so your soul might be subjected to a spirit that is ungodly spirit he's speaking of the separation of the soul from the ungodly rulership of the spirit over your life that's how the word separates because it will bring conviction encouragement empowerment liberation and deliverance in your life that's why people are always held back by the enemy from coming to church because they can the soul can be liberated from the bondages of the spirit it's a serious thing how the word separates how can the word separate my soul and my spirit no not your soul and spirit there are a lot of other spirits that are ruling over your life the word of god separates them from your soul so your spirit can be pleasant the word of god takes your soul detaches it from the spirit that rule over your life robs you of your peace keep you confused and wanting and take away the joy from your life those spirits the word of god separates such from your soul are you still with me that's why the word is needed that's why the preaching of the word is needed because it brings discipline it reignited faith in your soul the word does that it separates my soul from the spirit the unwanting spirits hallelujah so soul need faith for survival soul has emotions soul has needs but soul need faith for survival and just shall live by faith and whoever calls upon the name of the lord shall be saved but then bible goes on to say that how can they hear the name of the lord when they have not heard of him verse 14 says how then shall they call on him whom they have not believed and how shall they believe in him who of whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without preaching Romans chapter 10 verse 15 says and how shall they preach unless they are sent as it is written how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tiding of good things verse 16 but they have not all obeyed the gospel for Isaiah says for Lord who has believed our report and then verse 17 says then faith is of the hearing and hearing the word of God if enemy is after your soul the number one attack that he will have against your life your household and against your soul will be to rob you off from hearing the word of god whether you felt it or not is spoken over you faith comes by the preaching of the word and that's why enemy is after it and this is the faith that your soul need and that's why the preaching of the word is hindered in over 70 countries in this world enemies afraid of the preaching of the word because it separates the soul from the spirit it liberates the soul it inspires and encourages your soul need a word tell your neighbor your soul need a word 